Good morning, Minnow Geeky Zeb. It's the morning after ceremony, and uh, my thoughts right away are just love. <laughs> just love. It's a really powerful ceremony. I didn't. I didn't expect it to do the things it did to me. I was trying to resist whatever is stuck inside me and is trying to pull me out of the circle. And, uh, my brother had to come bring me back, you know. Sit down here and numb a dubbing and smoke the old and go back up to that wonderful circle up there to finish ceremony and be healed by Taito, it was amazing. Just the different scents, I smell the different fragrances and perfumes that I've never smelled before in my life. And all I could think of is, that's what heaven smells like. <laughs> oh, it was so beautiful. Man. It was so I'm telling you that breath work is taking me places because while Tai Tai was healing me, I, I did a round of alkaline breathing and sped up the pace. And right at the last breath, I did what I always do, squeeze the perineum, the pelvic floor, send the DMT up to the pineal gland, and man, the breath work plus the medicine in Taita. I, just, I don't know how to explain it, dude. I just, everything just went black, like blank. There's music going, crickets, frogs, nature, everything going on, and it just it went out. It, it felt like two minutes. As it felt like two minutes, maybe it was like two seconds, but anyways, I forgot who I was, where I was, what I was doing, but all that, not all of it, but most of that stuck energy that's, that's got me held down and was released. I feel great. I love myself, my career, my family, my friends. The saying it though, you know, the, the stuff we carry around, I say, is, it's like an onion, there's layers of it, you know, so, it's just, I'm really grateful to get this spiritual boost, this is something I manifested through all my practices and my intentions and my ways, and I manifested this. It was a rough night, <laughs> but it's a nice, beautiful morning here. I will not disclose the location for confidentiality purposes. I love life. <laughs> I love my creator. I love you. Then and there, so I figure I'd take a little bimo say a walk here down to the river, show you what kind of body of water was close to us. There's no one us, people from the lake. We gotta go find a body of water to dip into. That's how we roll, that's how we do it. This beautiful thing. Akasha! I love this critter, that's a Lily Browns. <laughs> tell him, tell him you're Lily Browns girl. Tell him, <laughs> tell him. Nature. Of 
course I can't forget to mention my thousands of little blood-sucking friends. Man, they are thick out here. I must let the mosquitoes ruin my night. But after acceptance set in, I just... I sat in the chair to be healed and I was shirtless. And like I said, I just accepted it. I let a bunch of them fill up and go. It sucked. <laughs> Whatever though. You gotta go through these discomforts and these pains to grow. Yo, this is mosquito haven down here. I'm coming down here to get these shots because they're so beautiful. The sacrifice is my blood. <laughs> I haven't worn shoes or socks since I got here and I don't plan on to. <laughs> I don't want to run around barefoot, shirtless, all the damn time if I could. I actually kind of forgot this was uh, this was kind of a journey to get out of here. go right in. Dude, <laughs> mosquitoes, they do not give no Fs. It doesn't matter how much freaking D you put on. Nothing. They don't care. They want that blood. <laughs> it's like, like I said, mosquito heaven right now. And I do have some smarts about uh, running water here. The stream of it going. Just below my knees. Once it gets above my knees, it gets dangerous. <laughs> All right. You like that? You like that? Shit was tight, right? All right. Add enough of these guys. I'm gonna go get some food. Thank you for watching. I love you. I love you all. Stay in the moment. Love big and be grateful. Alright, gig wobbling in the garage.